What happened to Ned Fulmer is the question I'm going to be answering today as his mysterious disappearance from the internet after cheating on his wife last year has left many of us disappointed and with many questions unanswered. Edward Gallo Fulmer, or Ned, was born on June 11th, 1987 in Jacksonville, Florida. From everything I could find, it seems he had a fairly normal upbringing but was extremely gifted academically as he chose to attend Yale University for his undergraduate degree. He graduated from Yale with a bachelor's degree in chemistry and his first career involved working in Chicago at a renewable energy lab during the day and by night he was performing improv and comedy sketches for Second City and IO Chicago house teams. He was named a critic's pick by Time Out Chicago before he decided to switch jobs and started working at BuzzFeed for a change of pace. Ned's job was to develop the video fellowship program at BuzzFeed, and he later married his wife, Ariel Marie Fulmer. Ariel is an interior designer and they have two children, Wesley and Finley. The Try Guys group was originally formed at the company BuzzFeed in 2014 by Eugene, Keith, Zach, and of course Ned. The first video they uploaded was called Guys Try Ladies Underwear for the First Time. It's worth mentioning at this point that BuzzFeed had not yet developed a show around a recurring cast, so this new form of content was innovative at the time and garnered a lot of attention to the channel. The Try Guys was the first series to consistently feature the same group of talent. It was also the first to turn BuzzFeed producers into on-camera personalities a recurring theme that now anchors BuzzFeed's original programming. Their show Squad Wars premiered on YouTube Red, which is now defunct, in early 2017. Their most watched video, The Try Guys Try Labor Pain Simulation, has gotten over 35 million views as of July 2023. The group has accumulated over 100 million views among their videos on BuzzFeed's YouTube channel. In 2017, the Try Guys were nominated for the Streamy Awards Audience Choice Show of the Year Award. In 2018, the Try Guys hosted the 8th Annual Streamy Awards and won the Audience Choice Show of the Year Award the same one for which they had been nominated for in 2017. On June 16th, 2018, the Try Guys announced that they had left BuzzFeed and started their own independent production company, Second Try LLC. Second Try LLC gained all the rights to the Try Guys brand, while BuzzFeed remained as the branded content and advertising sales representative for several months. On December 2nd, 2019, the Try Guys explained that they decided to leave BuzzFeed as their contracts were expiring and Ned and Zach contributed to the idea of developing their own independent production company. On their own YouTube channel, the Try Guys have received over 2.4 billion views and over 8 million subscribers. On January 30th, 2019, the Try Guys announced that they'd co-written a book, The Hidden Power of Up. It was released by HarperCollins on June 18th, 2019. The book follows each of the four Try Guys as they challenge themselves to improve their lives, discussing how their failures have impacted them and helped them grow. The Hidden Power of Up reached the number one position on the New York Times bestseller list in the self-help, advice, and miscellaneous category soon after its release. One review described it as completely approachable in the way it's written, an honest, open discussion about failure. The group also went on tour titled Legends of the Internet and launched the Tripod Podcast in 2019. By 2021, the company had grown to almost 24 employees. The Try Guys hosted the Food Network show No Recipe Road Trip, with the Try Guys inspired by their YouTube series Without a Recipe. The show, initially a one-off special, was due to premiere on Discovery Plus and Food Network in 2021, but was postponed when it was ordered for a six-episode season, which premiered on August 31st, 2022. Everything in Ned's life up to this point was going pretty amazing. He had been a part of such a big and successful creation that it would be foolish if 
he got himself into any controversies or trouble. He had two kids at this point, a loving family, great friends, and a great support group around him. But unfortunately, lust can get to the best of people sometimes, and the case of Ned describes a tragic story of a man risking it all. On September 27th, 2022, the Try Guys announced that Ned would no longer be working with the group following an internal review regarding Ned having an extramarital affair with Alexandria Herring, one of the associate producers for the Try Guys at the time. On October 3rd, 2022, the Try Guys announced that Ned would be removed from all upcoming videos except in several sponsored videos due to contractual obligations. And on October 6th, Keith and Zach spoke about the incident for the first time on their podcast. This was a very stressful time for the team as Keith had gained a lot of weight, Zach developed insomnia and even more digestion problems, and many other members reported having physical problems too. The Try Guys found out about Ned's cheating right after Labor Day weekend in early September and had to keep all the information on the down low trying to figure out what needs to happen legally. They knew Ned could not remain a part of the team, but they needed to figure out what exactly they needed to do. This was trauma for the Try Guys and they needed to cope accordingly as well. It is incomprehensible how the entire Try Guys team felt at the time, but I could only imagine how bad it was. Ned's character as a devoted husband and father fell apart and breached an essential contract with the audience. Not only was it morally wrong, but it deceived people. And ever since then, since Ned was removed from the Try Guys, he released a post on the same day acknowledging his actions and apologizing for what his actions have caused. Not that any sort of apology should even justify his actions. Both him and his wife Ariel have stayed dormant on social media since September 27th of 2022, and it seems they want to keep it this way and go over everything that has happened in private. I think what interests me most about this case is the fact that Ned had so much going for him, and to be a graduate from an Ivy League university and to make this decision is astonishing to me. He had a wonderful wife and family back home, and honestly, like I said earlier, I don't think any amount of apologizing can even scratch the surface to fixing what Ned has destroyed. Not only has he destroyed friends, he's destroyed people's trust, and he's destroyed a company. Maybe Ned and Ariel have already separated, we don't really have the ability to know that as people from the outside, but if I was Ariel, it would be a no-brainer to divorce. There are no second chances when you're that old and mature and have that amount of influence and simply just know better at that point in your life. There are no excuses to what Ned has done.